Mic check, mic check, mic check, mic check. What's going on, people? Cook Up Club, episode two, season two. What's going on, people? How's the week been? On my days, I'm still, I'm, I'm so surprised that Sensei's in the chat, you know. Flipping out. Hey, let's, let's give a round for the little Sensei, you know what I mean? It's been a minute. My brother. How are you, how you doing, bro? How are you doing? Quality sign official. Salute to the grandmaster, you know. Jeez. I miss I miss Sensei's comments up in the chat, you know. But what's going on, people? We've got Big Bears up in here, Crispy the Bull God, Alex JR, Shorts, Jerry, what are you saying, bro? You know what I mean, we've got Sun up in here, you done know. Peroni. What's going on, peeps? How are we doing? Sounding good, yeah. No robot voice. Amazing. I'm just seeing text. From at, at beach, you know, bro, is it, is it, a, he doesn't even know it's cook up club this week, man's been busy, busy, but yo, we'll give a big shout out to at beats. <laughs> man's texting me right now, bro, we live and it's all good, <laughs> but you're done though. What are we saying? I can, I can hear my typing. Sorry guys. Yeah, listen, get a new keyboard. Yeah. Come on. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. You know what Shit, I'm saying? I'm See your keyboard. It's what I think of your keyboard. I say, fire burn that rust cloud. You'll get that in a minute. Five second delay. You're done, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's going on, people? We're in here today. I'm excited about this week's Cook Up Club because, boy, the sample was, um, it was terrible, man. Sensational. <laughs> it definitely wasn't that. You know what I mean? The sample was not the one this week. But yeah, Jay, my week has been in the red. If you know, you know. Yes, listen, people. The crypto space has been very mad. <laughs> I think Bez had a beat a couple of weeks back. What was it called? The Sea of Red? I think we all witnessed that um, that Sea of Red. I think everybody woke up, looked at their, their portfolio. Exactly, portfolios in tatters. I looked at mine and this was my response. Bruh. Straight away. I was like, whoa. But listen, guys, diamond hands. Wait, I swear we have a gem here. We'll just use it for that. Diamond hands. We holding, baby. We holding. Some people are going to the moon. Some people are not. That's it. That's how it is. Some people are not. But yeah, bro, that clip, it makes me want to delete my lungs off my head. <laughs> listen, put some respect on that brother's name. It's a Surty Don, right? Man stood up in Parliament and was talking to things. You know what I'm saying? Go and go and do some research in it, man. Real, real man, respect that guy. Know that, know that. But yeah, crypto is a sticky one. Yeah, you see how Nate the innovator, the investor among us, has been super quiet when it comes to the crypto. Man's hiding all the source. I know it. I know it. I know he's hiding the source, brother. Everyone can eat, my G. Everyone can eat. Spit. Listen, bro. Share the sauce. I'm gonna press it again, bro. Share the sauce. <sighs> you know when you talk to a man about crypto, a man are talking about yeah, yeah, dollar. This three digits. This three letters. I ain't even heard of them coins, but man are talking about this coin. Come on, man. Zero sum game. Wow, man does not respect it. Put some respect on my name. You understand me? But yeah, listen, let's, we're, we're, we're nattering on a bit about the crazy um, crypto world at the moment. Because yeah, it is very mad. But listen, we're here for the cook-up club. We're here for the beats. We're here for the bangers. It's so good to be back, by the way. Taking that little break that we had, man, I really missed it. Like last week was, well, not last week, two weeks back. The first one back was fire, man. Everybody got into it, especially, you know. I'm not going to do no specialties, actually. Everybody put their foot in that. There was like a million wheel-ups. You know what I'm saying? What are we sipping tonight, G? Boy. What are we sipping? Is this right. Coke? No, but is it Coke? Yeah. Yeah, just... Is it full fat, though? No, 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 no. Man don't get full fat Coke these days. Man's got Coke Zero. And we've got, obviously, the rare nephew. Team Trim up. Trim up. Going for the gym, boy. All right, we're trying to live good. This is me right now. This is how I'm trying to live these days. Healthy. I eat pears now and shit like that. You know what I'm Shout saying? Out to all the pear. That's that, that's pretty much me these days, man. Trying to trying to get you know what I mean. You know, I remember seeing memes. You man let Rick, Rick Ross get get in shape before you did. Come on, man. That one hurts still. But big up Rose, man. Man's doing his thing. Doing his thing. But yeah, guys, let's get in some beats. Let's get in some beats. 
I noticed that we're kind of down on submissions today. I mean, you know, the usual suspects to come through, but you know, when I put the, the sticky samples in there, you see the real bad man come out. You see the real guys putting their foot in this thing. And, um, if you submitted, salute, you know what I'm saying? Because, uh, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking choosing that sample. Should we should we just play the sample real quick? <laughs> uh, <laughs> wait, let's, let's run the intro first because, uh, boy... It's mad. Cook up club. You're done now. Hey, big up John and the gym grind. Hey, what's up, Matt Smith? <coughs> Excuse me. How you doing, bro? Yeah, I mean, the gym grind is great, but equally hate it. You know, we're, we're, we're in here for the gains, but not here for the pains. I'll tell you that for true. But yeah, let's get into the cook up club. You're done now. Cook up club. You done though. Turns out uh could have been better for sure. Might be the sample. If we have to, I think I course cussed it enough last night. <laughs> um, I I guess you're talking about the actual sample itself. Uh yeah, let's play the sample, guys. Let me know if you can hear this. Wow, look at the emotes on here, man. There's like angry faces. <laughs> right. Hope you guys are ready for this. I personally think it's fire. You know, I don't know what you guys cry about. It, pull it, pull it. <laughs> it's a fire sample. So fire, we're going to play it again. Make everybody upset. Come on, it's litty. Stop it. Court just accordion nonsense. Listen. Who who made a a good um, synopsis of it? It was like when you've just given your child an instrument and it's like their second weekend or one weekend. That's what it sounds like. Should we play one? No, I'm joking. I'm joking. You guys are about to. Whoa. <laughs> it's the song of my people. Look at that. Alex J always, he's trying, he's not lighting up the stream in a good way. Like he's celebrating. He's trying to burn down the studio, guys. He's not happy with this, um, this sample at all <sighs> yeah cool let's get into the beats as usual guys you know season two i'm gonna go in the middle instead of at the end these days so you know i'm gonna choose when to slide in you know how it is but who's up first um let's check the uploads one thing i did notice which was very very sneaky synapse asked me yo my um my beat is like five seconds over can I still submit it? Uploaded the beat. I put, I'll let it slide. It's cool. Upload it. I come in to check it. It's gone. Deleted from the Discord. Like, did he just, did, did he listen to it and go, nah, that's not going out. Bro, signups. What happened, bro? I know you submitted something, but now it's not here. So, uh, yeah, what happened, bro? I want to know what happened. Because... Yeah, I saw it and it's gone. Who did anybody listen to it? Was it fire? Like, what was the situation? Like, like you guys know I don't really listen to him, so I'm just interested to see what it sounds like. It's like it's like someone leaving the cookies on the table, then you come back, they're gone. Like what? So, um, yeah, man, that's a sticky one still. Yeah. Anyway, let's who's first up here. We got Nate Innovator submitted yesterday. Couldn't decide between two ideas, so I combined them. All right, so cool. We're ready. I'm thinking about a switch up. Let's have a list of Nate Denevail. Let's have a listen. At Beats up in the cut. I'm in. What's happening, bro? <laughs> Man's texting me while I'm live, you know. Listen, bro. Don't, I know you I know you're out of sync. You missed this week, but it's all good, bro. The the beat was there. But listen, I got something for you at Beats. Make sure you make sure you stick about. I made sign just for you, my bro. You know, his first submission had mad ideas. He had, he had good ideas. Well, my, well, I'm guessing mad in a good way. Either way, bro, it's all good. Let's get into Nate the Innovator. Nah, bro, there's no time, man. Just chill out. Just chill out. No time to cook up. Uh, there's not there's not crazy amount of submissions today, so we're not going to be rinsing it, yeah? Just, just chill. Oh, 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 
Man came in smooth, super smooth, mega smooth. The second beat, yeah, when them drums came in, it's like man just wanted to say, listen, people, I have African blood. I just want to let people know. Like that's, that's instantly what I thought, oh, yes. You know, when the shoulders start going straight, you know what I mean? But that was cold, man. Super smooth. I mean, I feel like everybody's beat this week has been to take that terrible sample and completely turn it into something completely different. So I'm not even going to ask how you got there, bro. But I believe that you did it. I could hear it at the start. You did your thing. And you made some smooth vibes. I could hear there was a lot of EQ in and filter in there to roll off some of those weird textures and so forth. But yeah, that was cold, man. Oh, there you go. Look, haha. The sample was auto filtered bits through the beat. Uh, hey, look, man. I feel like a lot of us have probably come on a similar sort of approach. But that was chilled, man. You had some nice movement in there, some nice percussion. I wasn't, I wasn't a big fan of some of the stumbly sort of percussion at the end. Um, but it was still cool, man. You had the vibe. I like the sample selection, as in like drum sounds and the fills and stuff. It was nice. And I even liked the way you transitioned from the first beat into the second one. It was really cool. It still sounded, even though it was very different, it still sounded very cohesive. So keep it up, man. You know, I think everyone's still on the high from your last submission, man. That, that like orchestral sort of energy, you know, listen, I'm still thinking about that beat, bro. I was, <laughs> listen, I'm get, that's getting one of these just for that last beat and this beat. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I got to hide that trash. <laughs> Hey, don't talk about the sample like that, bro. Do Listen, favor, put some respect Get on the right samples, right bro. <laughs> Get right, right here, man. Shit, I'm saying. I found the trash for growth. You guys know that. Whenever I come with, like, whenever I go for the trash can and I hold up that piece of trash and I give it to you, it's because inside there's a golden nugget with a beat or some sort of creation that you're going to make out of it. And even if you make something that's like, bleh, at the end, the journey and the process that you took to make that thing with, is more valuable than the actual beat itself. So come on guys, let's get it. Um, <laughs> my like Jerry with the gemmers. Uh, Axe stole the show. I want to hear what he comes up with 20 minutes. Let's see if he does, man. That's going to be interesting because that sample is, yeah. <laughs> it, I think it's something in 20 minutes to come up with something within that. It's going to be, it's going to be interesting. But we'll see. We will see. Building that muscle memory. Yeah, sense he knows. Build the muscle memory. Gotta be dumb. But yeah. Man, dropping the sauce. You know, it's guys. It's all about the energy and the vibes and all that stuff. And yeah, if you guys see in the chat, make sure you come through and join the Discord. If you're new to the stream, make sure you come through and hit the follow button. Lurk. You know, if you're enjoying the stream, feel free to dash a couple biddies. Why not, bro? Why not? Southern Tinko. And yeah, all the lurkers in the chat. I'm addressing you guys right now. Stop lurking. Come through. Join the community. We're here for you. But yeah, let's get into short motif. Let's hear what we're saying. I'm interested to hear what this beat is saying. Uh one minute forty three. Looking good, looking good. Uh short, so what you got for them? Short motif.
that shorts, yeah? It's that shorts, yeah, coming with the the dark, dark, the dark, dark vibers. What's going on here? Listen, man. It's crazy, yeah, because Sensei hasn't been here in a minute. And uh, the comment here is, shorts leveling has become so clean. I love the sound of this. Yeah, man. I think, I think for me, uh, the way you manipulated the sample was cool because also you kept the integrity of the kind of line and the progression itself and still made it work. And you took out all those kind of weird frequencies and done some cool, creative stuff with it. Like, especially, I think what I like the most is your use of uh, ambience and transitioning with the panning and also using some of those panning devices to transition into new bits. And also, like, a, a good sign of your production getting better is that you're able to take elements out and then, and make it not feel empty. Like, because you're taking us through a transition, a journey, um, some sort of twist. So, yeah, you're definitely coming along, coming along the way. I think the first initial drop, the kicks were a little too boxy for me. As in, like, I'm not too sure if I like the first... Um, kick sort of combination but then when it progressed later on into the beat it sounded a lot better but it could have just been another um, frequency masking it or another frequency attacking it at the same time but when when that initial beginning bit dropped out it sounded fine so yeah that happens to me all the time when i'm making beats like i'll spend a lot of time on verse two or this and that because that's when you want things to start changing up or whatever or second chorus and then when you start making those changes, you, the, the original part of the beat doesn't necessarily work all the time. So always make sure you go through and check throughout your beat, and make, your beat and make sure everything is working pretty well. But yeah, it all sounds good, man. Good progression. Uh, let's read some of the chat real quick. <coughs> this is Naughty. This is Mad. <laughs> Sand doing the Madders. Uh, dark. Yeah, man, sick. Shorts copy John's official artificial guitars. <laughs> I think I think he was doing that with like um, distortion on the on the sample itself. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Wish I didn't have to leave in twenty minutes. Some major source already. Oh man, like Bez, my guy. Yeah, I think it was the frequencies in the first drop. The guitar part was sourcing it from. Yeah, man. Listen, Shorts, shout out yourself doing some crazy works. You know what I mean? You don't know. Bez, I'm going to try and get my beat on after this next one. Or maybe, yeah. And then that way you should get to hear it before you go. But yeah, shout out shorts on that one. Let's get into Sable. Man, like Mas Masutu coming through here and re replying to Nate the Innovators, but not dropping a beat this week. What's going on, bro? Where the beat's at? Where the beat's at? Bruh. Well, yeah, Sable, what's up? Listen, what you got for us? Police terror is an instrument of the state used to coerce young people. It's a fear mechanism.
Man just did the mic job like that. Big up Sable every time. I always love it. I always look forward to your beats because I know you're going to incorporate some sort of vocal motif in there that kind of conveys some sort of narrative and story. It's cool, man. It's always cool. I can, I mean, I, I'm, I can tell you struggle with this beat just because <laughs> it's like so different from what you usually do. But at the same time, it has a nice sort of pace to it. And it was nice to hear breaks being used again. You know what I mean? Like in that kind of hip hop sort of style, like you don't hear it as much these days or you hear it kind of just under like some digital sample kits and stuff. But it's nice to just hear it out there with your own little bits of uh, um, additions to it. But it was nice just hearing that snare crack. Uh, real nice. Yeah, you made you made the sample work. It conveyed a decent melody and everything was just controlling. Um, the only thing I wanted to happen was when you really made it fall apart and break down in BPM, I kind of wanted it to quickly jump back into that fast pace. But it, it didn't. You kind of let it linger a little bit. And I was just like, ah, because like the energy was really grinded to a halt. And I was like having it come in quick again with it just like jump started it. So when it came in a bit too late, I was like, oh, I wanted it a bit sooner. That's the only thing I would say for feedback. But um, yeah, man, someone said, gives me Mike Skinner vibes. I could see that. Yeah, those kind of vocals on this would really work because, you know, they have kind of rhyme patterns that are always inconsistent to some extent where you, it's unpredictable and that kind of complements this production. So I think that would really work. That's a good, uh, good observation. But yeah, 90% of the melodic parts are the horrible sample. <laughs> as soon as I read that while I was listening to it, I heard one come in. I was like, yeah, I can definitely hear it. But it's cool. This sample is a fear mechanism. <laughs> That's actually quite jokes. Uh, I feel like I'm in a chase scene. Yeah, man, that was like King Chase last week, man. Man was just had the bloody police chase. Man I was looking back in the, the mirrors and that. Uh, super clean, creative as always. Yeah, man, you know about flipping Sable. Wicked. We'll get... Crispy, how much time you got? I think he's going to have to go in about 50. Um, let's play. Should we play? Is it Marvin? Mom, what? Yeah, let's play Marvin real quick. Bro, this beat's only a minute 13. Yo, you got a lot more time in the beat, bro. Come on, man. Give us some more. Let's have a listen. Hey, shout out Marvin, bro. Man come with the <laughs> man came with the the drillers. Yo, bro, I think I saw you in the Discord saying that you're practicing on working the drill. Um and yeah, man, I can see you're in development. We're working at sound out. A lot of us are in that sort of process of trying to really get down with the nitty gritty and the drill stuff. So it's good to see you attempting it and giving it some energy, man, and actually doing some good techniques. But yeah, shout it out, man. That was cool. I really liked what you did with that one for sure. Big up, what's the chat saying? 200 BPM <laughs> cappuccino. Drillers. Emma, Emma Del Joe and uh, Drill. H could hop on this. Man, like H, you know. Madness. Uh, the horns got me solid. Sample surprisingly works well for Drill. You're done, though. Wicked. All right, Bez has got to go in a bit. So we're going to skip Peroni for a second and jump in and play Bez's beat before he has to dip. Um, yeah, my guy. Let's have a listen. Big Bez up in here.
Everyone's got the mic drops today, yeah? Shout out Biz, man. That was just a really good beat. Like, it was just a real <coughs> positive, happy feeling. Just, I just want to make good music and catch a vibe. And, um, you know, I love hearing Bez's stuff because he always uses, like, these kind of background kind of vocals that just somehow creep into becoming centerpieces where like if you play it to an artist, artists would be like, yo, that's where I wanted to do that. I wanted to do that nice high note. Oh, what was this? Can you mute that please? But Bez is just like, yo bro, that's cool. I'm gonna let you finish. But <laughs> I just wanna get get my vibe off right now and do my thing. And that's completely dope. Uh, just having your own vibe and creating your own sort of composition and song even like don't worry about always. It's always good to make beats for artists, but this was a beat that wasn't for, this beat was just for having a good time and getting your thing going, man. So I really enjoyed that. Let's see what the chat's saying. Um, good energy. Let's go. Uh, definitely enjoyed that. Cause a silky, this bit, hell yeah. I can hear someone singing their heart out to this in the rain, some Ray J vibes. Really? <laughs> Love the stereo feel, very clean. Crispy got me doing the moonwalk in my bathroom. That's crazy. I uh, love making beats. I appreciate you saying it's clean because I haven't mixed it yet. Yeah, I would, you know, we don't always comment on mix too much on this kind of show, but I could hear that it was a little, there were more high frequencies could be boosted in this. Sample was weird with that little glitchy sound, but it was cool, man. Hey, what's going on, man? Good to see you in there. Uh, enjoyable to listen without, even without a vocal. Yeah, man. But yeah, Bez, that was cool, man. Real nice, chilled vibes. Look forward to hearing the mix now. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get my beat on next because we're about halfway through. So, Peroni, we're not trying to skip you, bro, but you know, we gotta do normal programming. You know, it is, you know, it is. Um, but yeah, Bez, shower yourself, bro. You know what I mean? Shower yourself. Good vibes, good energy, real soulful stuff. All right, let's get my beat going. Um, let's hear yours, John. All right, let's get into it. Let me know what you guys think. John, the dreamer. What's going on? <laughs> the F1. <laughs> Raw, that bomb came out of nowhere still. 
<laughs> Yo, appreciate the lovers, man. Give me some lovings. Yeah, you guys know I don't really make the drill beats, in it. Fire, burn that <laughs> rust clap. Thank you. The beat was definitely burned. Man ended like that. <laughs> Yo, guys, we had a pull up requested, so we'll run that real quick. Um, and then we'll get into the, the, the chat about it. But yeah, don't know. Join the dreamer, making proper drill beats now. What has what my life become, eh? John, the dreamer. Drillers, what are we saying? Guys, I'm loving the love in here, man. I appreciate that, man. There's some real good, good, good stuff happening here. Appreciate the bitties, guys. Shout out Bez every time. Yeah, man. Listen, drillers, I'm trying to get a practice in, man. You know, I've been sleeping on making drill beats for so long. And I don't know, this sample, I don't know why this sample made me want to make a drill beat. I have no idea. But we ran with it and we made something, man. But yeah, let's quickly run through the chat. Um, let's quickly run through the chat, run through the chat. Oi, oi, drill him. Fire. I appreciate that, Jay. Uh, <laughs> oh, Sir Drillerton says, yes. Bang, the thing goes back in the jacket. Yeah, definitely um, unknown tea kind of vibes. Uh, need the at Beast Yeah, that was me, John, John the Driller. <laughs> Change up the name, you know. Uh, honestly, you could have put a flute on this and it would have worked just fine. I don't know, bro. Don't know about this one. Man ended like that. Yeah, I, I don't know. I went for the. I've been working on a lot of sync sort of music, and they keep saying they want a sting on the end of it. So I gave you man a double sting there. Ch, ch, you know what I mean? They didn't know it. Raw just came back in. <laughs> oh yes, pull up. <laughs> uh, worst thing about it is I'm rushing the jewelry, but I think I don't think I should bother now. At beats, bro. I told you, chill out, bro. I had time for you, man. I told you at the start. Uh, all the beef I've settled is back on now. Thanks, John. Sensei, cut that out. No beef, bro. No, that's one of the reasons why I don't like drill, man. You listen to the lyrics; it's a madness. Like I feel like I feel like UK drill lyrics. They're getting more and more worse than like Chicago drill. Like I heard something like there's a there's a there's a YouTube clip like of top ten was it most disrespectful lyrics. I was watching it the other day. I was just like raw. Like I remember listening to Graham Graham lyrics going back and forth. And I thought, yeah, that was mad. And I'm listening to these ones. And I'm like, you man are just evil, isn't it? Like, raw. You very mad, you know. I'm talking about. I hope you're. I'm not even gonna. I just. I couldn't believe it, man. It was mad. I'll put it in the Discord. Yeah. Uh, did I start with a beat Don't repeat? Get Don't get. You won't get banned off that on Twitch. Uh, the ending is rude. Piss off. Hard. Did I start with that beat repeat? Fire, mate. Appreciate that. Naughty man. Internet buffered. All of that. I'm going to have to watch that back later. Ah, oh, Sable, man. You missed the moment still. You don't know. But yeah, I just, I don't know, man. The man, the lyrics are very mad, but I love the production. You guys know that. But yeah, appreciate the loves, guys. And I appreciate the bits. Um, yeah, we've got this new one. Fatality. 
<laughs> Hopefully it was. Anyway, let's get into Peroni. We skipped you twice, bro. We're gonna get into you now. Accordion. Uh not called it accordion. Uh could have done more to it, but time, no time, rough cut from the session view. Long ass fade out at the end. Bro, this this export is almost three minutes long. Bro, come on man. Sort the export out. Uh should be okay. <laughs> Let's have a listen. See you later, Bez. Speak to you soon, bro. Take it easy. Big Peroni. Man lied to me, he snuck in a cheeky two minute there. I see you, bro. I see you. See you, bro. <laughs> Yo, Peroni, man, like you you made us wait for it. You made us wait a long time for it. But when it came in, it was it was very much what we not what we was expecting, but you came in correctly and we was like, yo, it was established and it sounded good, man. I liked how bold everything sounded nice wide mix on the drums nice bass the only thing i would say is i'm not too sure about that sim for the end i liked a lot of elements of it some of the bits needs a bit of fine tuning uh, maybe a little bit more reverb and a little more filter to take out some of the brashness of like the high frequencies but as i could as a composition i enjoyed the whole journey it took me from building me up from all these different musical ideas and into the main drop and then into that lead and etc but i liked it man it was cool Definitely, yeah, definitely need some reverb for sure. But Peroni, man, you're definitely improving in your production, man. You definitely got to keep it going. And especially if you just said this is just from the session view with the fade on it. Yeah, like it would be really cool to see what it would sound like if it was finished and all of that. But yeah, bro, I really enjoy it. What's the chat saying? Smooth, need some reverb. Like the percussion when it hits. Yeah, man, the percussion was quite, not, it was simple but complex at the same time. It was like a weird kind of juxtaposition, so it was cool. It's literally off the session view, canvas, not even refined. Yeah, man, so pat yourself on the back, bro. That's cool. Really like that, man. Make sure you keep submitting, bro. Appreciate you coming through all the time. You know it is. But yeah, let's get into Alex JL. What are we saying, bro? Let's have a listen.
You're taking a piss, bro. Put that sample out there to kind of trip everyone up, right? And what does he do? He embraces the sample in its full entirety, right? Takes us to the summer location that we wanted last year, but we couldn't because of COVID. It's like it's like it's like like we're all playing poker or something or whatever game it is, and it's like I raise you. I'm just like, bro, it's not fair, innit? You're not you're not supposed to do that well, innit? I wasn't expecting that, bro. Man, I could just hear the energy, you know what I'm saying? And even the like you're really starting to get the right sound selection for the typical like the types of genres you're doing. So that kick and all of those kind of patterns is the typical stuff you would hear in those kind of like dance or reggaeton s sort of kind of vibes so yo bro <laughs> i don't know how you did it and made it work <coughs> so well um shout out yourself bro man was doing man was doing up club vibes today and i think you made that today as well innit bro shout out yourself man said nor was i <laughs> Yeah, man, I need to be on a beach, chat sand, beach vibes, mojito, you know, <laughs> mojito, please, Sonorita, my pepperoni ordering a drink, really works with the sample, yeah, man, crazy, shout out yourself, AlexJR, that was cool, and also shout out yourself for yesterday's stream, bro, I had a good time uh, watching your stream, even though he was having an off day, but... It was entertaining. It was good to see and show your viewers as well that not everybody has a, a like an amazing day on like on stream when it comes to like making music, but you still styled it out and just made it really inclusive. And bro, you had mad subs and bits being thrown your way, even though you wasn't even feeling like you was having a good day. So bro, that should be your encouragement to continue to keep getting on stream, even when you feel like things ain't going your way. But shout out yourself, bro, my guy. Yeah, I trashed the crap from last night. Hey, man. I trash beats on my own all the time. Doesn't even matter, bro. Trash them. Nobody knows except for your recycling can on your computer. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, big up yourself. Let's get into King Chase. I'm not sure I've seen his name in the chat today, but you probably watch it back. Let's get into him. Bro, that was the quickest fade out. <laughs> Bro, I went. <laughs> that fade came so fast. But yeah. Shout out King Chase. Man left the hi hat right at the end. <laughs> Check your exports, people. Come on now. Home training. Um, yeah, bro. I mean, when it dropped, I was like, ooh, interesting. You know, it sounded nice. And then. When the more I heard the sample, the more my body started to reject it. It was just like, oh no, this is na 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 na, and it just kept going through the whole beat. And I think, in kind of moderations, it could have it could have worked, but because you kept it going the whole way through, I just think um, it became too repetitive and it became 
more fatigue to listen to than enjoy. So I kept waiting for you to break it out and you didn't. And I thought, oh, it's about to change. And then you layered it up again with like, so it was playing on a different sort of sound or pitched up or something. So you made the, the sound intensify. So the thing I was like waiting for you to like remove, you stepped it up a notch, which was the complete opposite to what I wanted anyway. Um, but that being said, everything else in that beat was really cool man like the beat was nice the kind of triplet stuff to see what the chat was saying um aoa was pretty solid draw everything was really good i think the piano could have come down a bit or taken some of uh, the lower frequencies out of the piano a bit it was a bit loud um in the low end but other than that i really liked what you was doing with it i just wish you um maybe filtered the sample to take out some of that really nasally sort of sound of the sample just to make it smooth in there a little bit better or have a certain type of processing on the hook compared to a certain every type of processing on the verse just to have variation like it's not okay to have a sample going through all the different sections of the beat in exactly the same sort of form definitely kind of transform it and take it to different places and get creative with it man like it feels like you you got the sample to a place that you're happy with and you just build a beat around it but always spend more time with like one of the things i try to do all the time is see how much bang for my buck i can get without it without this sample like how many different versions of um parts of the track can i make out of this one little section of the sample like could it be this could it be this and then i'll just spend time making all those ideas and then decide later if i want to slot them in throughout my beat but guys i always urge you to just get real creative with the sample as much as you can even if you don't use parts of it it's always better to have ideas that you can mute than not have any at all um have options but yeah shout yourself bro big up let's get into matt smith looking forward to this one not quite my tempo That was really dope man i was just the whole way the whole way through i was just thinking about i can hear somebody rapping on this but like like who is it and i'm just i think someone like Earl sweatshirt or someone like that would really go crazy on the beat like that just because there were so many different pockets and vibes to uh to, to mess with on that one but yo it was cool definitely slapped man yeah sable lots of layers in this one for sure and yeah the intro was like hilarious it's always good to see a little bit of comedy in there reminds me of like um beat battles and stuff where people are using samples and stuff to convey what they're doing and it's dope man literally shot the sample in into pieces and said no nah, we're gonna deal with it this way but yeah shout yourself matt smith man it's good to have you as a part of the community i know you're kind of like a new slash lurking member but it's good to see you coming more out to the forefront and I'm submitting your music here and doing your thing, man. So shout out yourself, bro. 100%, man. Good vibes. Good good energy. Um, yeah. Really nice, man. Uh, Jay, bro, but I can change the sample now. I mean, I just have to use it. Yeah, 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 exactly. You can do whatever you want to it. Whatever you want, as long as you use the sample. That's it. There's no rules on how to do it. It's just more like my my the thing I was getting at is just allow yourself to get creative with it do stuff that doesn't make sense and just 
see what you can make. That's one of that's one of the whole reasons why we do this challenge is really to push ourselves out of our comfort zones and so, and also be able to make something out of nothing. Um, so yeah, just keep practicing those skills, guys, for sure. Uh, was never stopped low, but forced me to commit. Glad to be part. Yo, bro, nothing to be nervous about at all. You know, you came through, you said your little piece, not quite my temple, and dropped some nice energy in here. But yeah, definitely nice. Look forward to hearing more of your stuff, man, for sure. Uh, Jay, let's have a listen, man. Let's check out your one, bro. Uh, let's go. Had to master it. What did you re-upload? Oh yeah, bros. Good to see you put something in. You know what I mean? When it first dropped, I was like, man's breaking the rules. Did he put reverb on the kick? Why does it sound so stadium-esque? And I was like, I hope this isn't all the way through the beat. But then you definitely changed it up. He was like, oh, cool. Set a precedence. Change it up. Do this and that. Um, yeah, man. I, I liked what you did, man. Like, you can see you just wrote in the chat. You turned it into a bass. The only thing I'll say is like, because the bass is uh, quite a simple pattern, it can, and if you're gonna have that through the whole beat, you gotta be careful with it becoming too tedious. Even though you did like a, a like you pulled out all the tricks, you had a couple beat drops, beat drops, panning. You had a bunch of stuff on there to keep it interesting, to keep it sweet. You even died back on the reverb and kept the drums to be nice and solid. You had a nice sub in there, lots of good things in there. But sometimes even just having a sample going all the way through there. Um, it can make it tedious in places. So just be careful. Be sure to, just because we got the sample in there saying you got to use it. You ain't got to use it for the whole thing. Like you can just do it for bits and pieces, bring it in and out. So feel free to do that, man. Just to make sure we, we stay entertained with your beat and stay wrapped in there. But yo, it was definitely cool. It's just how I like it. Yeah, look, if that's what you feel, 100%, you know, music is all subjective completely. And I can see, you You know, you, you put the, you reduced it throughout the rest of the beat, which is more pleasing to like, you know, more usual standards but at the same time bro i really enjoyed it especially with the different beat drops and the panning kept it definitely woke me up and said oh something's happening there's going to be stuff um that i need to pay attention to so yeah keep it up man for sure um i, I think you're the first one here to make a base out of it on this sample and um yeah just be careful with like sometimes making a sample with bass and having the sub under it you know you did you did a pretty good job at masking uh removing like mud and stuff but then also you had a very heavy kick so that's three low end the heavy components that are now are trying to fight for the space but you did pretty well man you know obviously yeah you mixed it pretty fast all good man it's just more about i'm, I'm not really trying to get onto you about the mix we don't really do that because a lot of people make it on the day or the day before it's more just about the thought process of when you're actually making the beat like being aware of Okay, I'm gonna have a kick, I'm gonna have an airway or a sub, and I'm gonna have a bass. It's a lot of low end frequencies. What are you gonna use now to balance that in the higher frequency realm? Like to have like a balanced mix of 
frequencies. So yeah, just keep it in mind when you're producing. But yeah, guys, shout out yourself, man. A sub is naughty. The mainly based on the effects of the sample. Nice, bro. Hundred percent. But yeah, guys, we've uh, we've come to we've run out of beats, man. Um, I think a lot of people in the Discord just didn't want to take on the challenge. So if you was if you're in here today, you have made it this far and you submitted to the Cook Up Club this week, even though the sample was complete doo doo, complete round of applause to yourself. You took on the challenge. You was able to make something. Um, yeah, at beast, bro. If you got if you got something to play, send it through on the Discord real quick, bro. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna get off here real soon. Um, but yeah, nice one, man. Catch you all soon, Peroni. All right, take it easy, bro. We're gonna get into Ad Beast's beat as soon as we get the link, real quick, and um, catch the vibes. But yeah, hundred percent, man. Lots of good music in here today. Some real cool stuff. Ad Beats, are you dropping a MP3? Are you dropping a link? Are you exporting now? Let me know the deal, bro. But yeah, man, the community came out, man, did their thing this week. Good to see. I like, uh, I'm going to play it again just because of the, just because of how stupid it is. But the sample is just mad. Like, what the hell? Like, the fact that you guys have been able to make something out of that is completely crazy. Like, just if you guys have caught the end of the stream, this is what everybody, every beat you've heard today has used this sample. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's uh it's crazy to think that oh let's replay it one more time, Sam. <laughs> she's she's not all week. I've heard it all week. All right. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I mean the fact that it's come out of that is completely crazy to me. For sure. But yeah, man, we're at that stage where I'm looking to hear this new beat and uh Let's get it going. Guys, also, other news. We hit 4.7k subscribers on YouTube. Come on. We're on our way to 5k. So let's do, let's do the YouTube plugs or with at Beats. Guys, make sure if you're chilling in here and uh, making sure you're catching the vibe, make sure you come and show me some love on YouTube. And then watch some of my tutorials, man. If you're a button user and you're looking for stuff to... Help you make beats and stuff. Go on there, drop a comment. If if you need something that I need to make, like a tutorial, make sure you come and subscribe and maybe even join the Discord and tell me what you want me to make a video on. And I'll definitely get around to doing that. I've got a long list of stuff to go through. And um, yeah, man, put one more. Hey, bro, appreciate that. So yeah, we're in here, man. The flipping YouTube is is doing wonders, man. We're gonna have to start doing some kind of like, yeah, exactly, five K soon. I'm starting to think of like challenges, like what 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 can be a crazy event we can do when we hit ten thousand subs? Like, what what would the community want when we hit ten thousand subs? Like, that's something we gotta speak think about, man. For sure, at beats, bro. What are going for this beat, fam? Come on, send us the link. Upload the MP3. Upload it. You know what I mean? But yeah, guys. What's the plans for what's everyone's plans for this week? Is there any music stuff we should be looking out for? Has anybody heard any news on plugins? Anybody heard any news on music to we need to look out for? I mean, I think J. Cole's album dropped this week, but I haven't had time to really dive into it and check it out. Has anybody had a chance to listen? Is it worth tuning into? Um, because I've already started to see J. Cole type beats populating throughout the week. So that means people, the producers are catching on. Um, but I haven't really been listening. But let me know, guys. Hey, Abyss has just thrown the sample in there. That's your beat. Let's get into that real quick while you guys think about what I was just saying. Abyss is there. Let's get into it. Abyss, off work, gonna sit in my pants, drink beer, and make music for nine days. Hey, Sable, man's got the sauce. You're done now. Abyss, let's get into it.
Hey bro, not bad for a young 40 minutes bro, not bad at all, man Man spent time to put all in the bloody <laughs> Man spent time to make all the crazy wobbles and he's like, he was like nah bro, I gotta put some crazy one Man had the one 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 all the way through uh, No mix, no, no ending and I poured two drinks, hey bro listen you can't say you missed the week, man. You came through and you did your thing, bro. Shout out yourself. Man was man overcompensated the airweights. You're done though. But listen, hey, that was cool, bro. Good to hear that. I had to bless the week. You know how it is. <coughs> What's the chat saying? Loads of emotes coming through, bro. The drillers, Sir Drillington himself, slamming that limo. Yeah, man was definitely crunching it. You know how it is. But listen, bro, always good. Jay put fire, you know how it is. But yeah, I had to bless the week. But yeah, guys. This has been the cook-up club. You know how it is. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to put a better sample in next week. But it's good to have these weeks, man. These are what these are the weeks that are called the growing pains, man. Like where it ain't what you asked for, but you uh, you came through and uh, you took part and you did your thing. You know what I mean? And there's been growth. Everyone that submitted and even, even if you didn't submit and you attempted the challenge this week, you've had some growth within your production or you might have tried something different and now you're going to use that same technique in a different beat for next week or the following week or tomorrow so yeah guys we're all coming through here vibes are good the vibes are strong and that is we're in here and uh i'm not sure we're gonna we're gonna hit a raid today i think we're just gonna just sign off you know how the thing set and uh chill out but yeah guys make sure you all got you all have a, a good week if you're lurking in the chat make sure you hit follow uh make sure you come subscribe on youtube or on the road to 5k subs 300 to go um milestones you know it is but yeah guys we're gonna sign out it's been your boy trying the dreamer and i'll catch you in the next stream yeah take it easy and i'll see you guys in the discord make sure you type come on discord in the chat if you want to join and uh yeah bless up peeps you know the thing set. <laughs>